two things have changed my life more than anything else I've experienced. One of those things was getting sober and the other was becoming a filmmaker. Today I'm going to talk about the latter and I want to expand on this idea of being a filmmaker and talk about how being a filmmaker can actually deepen your spiritual experience of your surroundings and of being alive. <laughs> What's up guys? So this episode's definitely going to be a little bit different. I just got back from an amazing vacation, week-long vacation down in Corcovado National Park, which is this incredibly beautiful, wild area of Costa Rica. It's like the most biodiverse region in the world or something. So anyway, I had this really beautiful experience in nature down there with my family. My parents are visiting and I had this kind of epiphany and I wanted to talk to you guys about it today. So my background is in photography and so pretty much my whole life I've always been kind of developing my eye, what people would like to call the photographer's eye, just deepening how I perceive the world around me and how I compose my shots. But at one point a few years ago I decided to get into video and learn how to become a filmmaker. At this point, I started you know, learning about storytelling and learning about how to capture movement, whereas before I'd only been you know, capturing moments of time. And somebody I met early on, another filmmaker that inspired me, was this guy named Adrian. We were working on a project together. I was helping him out with a video shoot and I remember him telling me how, how he is just in his day-to-day -day life and how everywhere he goes, he's always seeing the world in video and he's composing shots. He's seeing how light falls on different subjects or on different trees. He's noticing his movement and how he moves through space, you know, through his mind's camera. And I remember hearing this and thinking it was really cool and just thinking about how much more amazing and exciting your experience of the world can be if that's the way you see it. So it gave me some motivation to get more into video and really start to study it and learn this art so I could have that experience as well. So just like learning a new language, when you first get started, it can be kind of challenging and there's, you feel like there's so much to learn. You're constantly translating in your head. It just doesn't flow. But once you reach a certain point, you know, maybe after a year or two of studying this new language, you start to actually think in this new language and even sometimes dream in it. And that's when it gets really exciting. So just like that, filmmaking, when you first get started, can be kind of daunting. There's so much to learn, like learning all these new pieces of gear, learning all the new settings, learning audio, storytelling, lighting, everything. It can be a little bit overwhelming. And at first you're constantly looking things up and you feel like you're constantly going over in your head how to do it right or worried about doing it wrong. But after some time and you get, you know, get a hang of these things, it starts to flow more and you're able to just create and you're able to just see the world with a filmmaker's eye. And that's when it gets really exciting and that's when it can completely change your life as well as give you this very intense kind of spiritual experience of the world around you. And the spiritual experience I'm talking about can be best described as pure awareness. So what I mean by pure awareness is these days, now when I walk around, walk down the street, walk down the beach, walk through the jungle, I notice everything around me. And when I say everything, I mean everything. I notice the way that the leaves blow and the gentle breeze, and I feel that breeze on my skin. I notice how the light falls on different things, how it shines through the trees and creates these, you know, kind of like flares. 
I notice the sounds differently. I notice every single separate sound, you know, the birds chirping, the wind blowing, the water moving, the waves crashing. And I can, you know, listen to each one of them separate, but I can also listen to them as a whole, kind of this whole ambiance. Basically kind of listening to it as, you know, I would create a sound design in my edit. I also notice colors a lot. And I notice, especially here, it's so green and vibrant. I notice the differences in the greens, whether I'm in the jungle in the shade, or if I'm out at the beach and now the leaves are being illuminated by the light. How does that color change? You know, how do I achieve those different colors in post? And you know, how actual light creates different colors in our surroundings. But what gets really trippy is when you start seeing stories everywhere. Everywhere you look, everything that's going on, whether you're walking past a homeless man begging on the street, you see a child crying and maybe the parents are yelling at him, you see a couple embracing, or maybe you just see water flowing down a river or a bird chirping on a tree. You start to look at everything you see as the story behind it and what's going on. You start to become aware that there's stories happening around you literally at all times. And all of that is material for you to create with. Now relating this awareness to spirituality and you know, I know everybody has different ideas of what spirituality is and some might think it's something super new agey, doing yoga or you know, burning incense or uh, may, might be praying, you know, it could be something based off of religion. But specifically talking about awareness, I'm, you know, more closely talking about what's taught in Buddhism or Tantra. And this awareness or mindfulness is an essential part of Buddhism. Now, I don't know a ton about Buddhism, but what I do know I really like, and I do practice some of the different techniques in Buddhism, such as meditation. But I really love this idea of broadening your awareness of the world and how much more of an incredible life and experience you can have when you're 100% aware of what's going on in your life at all times and in this moment. That's pretty much the main focus of meditation is sitting in pure awareness, letting things happen, letting things come through you, and just sitting there and being aware of them, being this observer. In Tantra, and again, I don't know a ton about Tantra, I've read like one book about it, but if you wanna learn about it, there's this amazing book called A Tantric Quest. And in that book, it talks about how to deepen your awareness in your everyday life. And something I really loved was little things like when you first get up in the morning and you step your feet on the floor, your bare feet on the cool floor, to experience that, to feel the coolness touch your, you know, your skin and to feel the pressure on your skin. And then when you, you know, walk into the shower to feel the water like flush all over your body and you know, to actually think about these things instead of just going through the movements and having all these sensations happen but not really noticing them. But besides meditation and yoga and breath work and all these different things, what has really taught me how to be present and fully aware is filmmaking. When you're filmmaking, you have to be aware of everything that's going on. In order to even come up with a story, you have to have watched somebody do something and really thought about it, you know, what thought about what intentions that person had, what kind of interaction they had with people. Like you have to understand humanity, you have to understand the environment, you have to understand light, you have to understand sound. You have to understand so much to create a film. And in learning these things and in practicing them every day, it, it really is like a spiritual practice. And it brings you to a point where every day, everything you do, you are creating a film you are creating art. For me, it's changed my life and it's made me like excited to get up in the morning and just wanting to go out in the world and experience and 
think of new ideas and create more films. And my senses are so much more sharp now, you know, besides just my vision, but my smell, my hearing, and my just general well-being is heightened from starting to look at the world you know, in this filmmaker way. Just having this awareness of the world around you will give you absolutely all the material you could possibly need to create any film you can think of. So I wanna go much more in depth on this. I just wanted to bring up the idea of this filmmaking and spiritual experience thing that I haven't really heard too much about. I'm sure there's other people having these same thoughts out there, of course, but it's not something that I feel like is talked about that much, and I think it's something that makes filmmaking much more exciting. And not only filmmaking, it makes just your life in general more exciting. And thinking this way can actually make you a much better filmmaker. And who knows, maybe just hearing this will do the same thing for you it did for me and motivate you to you know, get more into filmmaking, get you more excited about it. And let me know, guys, if this is something that's interesting to you, if you want me to keep going you know, deeper with this. I have some ideas for some different techniques that we can do together to kind of deepen that experience. And I think this could be a really fun subject to get into. So let me know down in the comments what you think and if you've had this experience yourself. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode.